Welcome to Textination. Joining us from Netgear is Senior Product Line Manager, Max Wu. Thanks for joining us, Max. Hey, Fred. Thanks for uh, having me here today. Hello, everyone. And, and for those of people who are watching, they can see Max has what we're going to be talking about right in front of them. A, a, <laughs> a brand new router, Wi-Fi router, it's in your Orbi line with some new capabilities. Yeah. Give us uh, the overview of what's new here, Max. All right, so the products here I'm showing to you guys, it's uh, really our first and the industry first, uh, the cable mesh systems with the DAS 3.1 uh, cable modem built in, right? Uh, so it's capable to support the gigabit plus internet speed uh, from your service providers, along with the latest Wi-Fi 6 technology, which can deliver up to 4.2 gigabit per second Wi-Fi speed and supports 100 plus devices connected at the same time without any problems. So really, this is our latest and greatest Orbi mesh system with the integrated DAS 3.1 cable modem. And uh, yeah. this, uh, the whole Orbi system that uh, if people aren't familiar with it was designed as a, a mesh network. People can add satellites to cover a broad, broad area in the home or, or I guess business. Exactly. So. Orbi system is basically a Wi-Fi mesh modular design. So user can easily uh, add on uh, additional Orbi satellite to expand the Wi-Fi coverage throughout their home. So that's the beauty of uh, buying the system. So you really don't have to, you know, buying, first buying just a gateway. If you want to start out with, you know, a kit or standalone router, you are fine. But if you figure out that you later on need more coverage or there's still some that spot around your home, you can easily add in additional satellite to uh, make sure you can eliminate it, all this dead spot. Yeah. Now, the, the new version here, is that uh, compatible at all with any of the previous equipment or uh, if people have invested in that or how does it work? So uh, today, Orbi Wi-Fi 6 is only compatible with the Wi-Fi 6 satellite. Because again, in general, we want to deliver the best uh, user experience. So by mixing with the older technology uh, from our perspective is not the best practice for users. So um, the current design is only tied up to the Wi-Fi 6 ecosystems at this point. Yeah. What, should, what should consumers know about this technology and how much better it is, why they should invest in it? Right, so I think we, we could probably start with the problem um, the user are facing to or having today, right? Really, I think due to this new coronavirus effect, right? You know, most of people are working from home or doing a kid's school at home, right? And your connected Wi-Fi devices or, you know, surging, increasing by up to 90%, right? Based on the research shown, right? So with this new normal, really, you, the user will start facing a lot of um, new problems or new issues they don't really experience in the past, right? Like, you know, inconsistent internet speed or, you know, buffering while streaming, you know, the SD contents. And it's merely because um, your... Um, internet or all standard Wi-Fi equipment cannot handle these new requirements or tasks uh, for a lot of you know, connected home devices all connected and running at the same time, right? So really to resolve this problem, um, we were suggest user to look into the three major areas, uh, which are your Wi-Fi equipment, your internet speeds, and really the Wi-Fi coverage, right? So we slightly cover about the Wi-Fi equipment. You know, your older Wi-Fi equipment, like even AC or uh, even older 11N, is really not designed to, you know, handle a lot more devices at the same time. And mostly, again, you will start having some disconnection issues or low performance when you're having a lot more devices connected. Um, so this new Wi-Fi 6 technology which uh, were uh, introduced, which was introduced uh, about a year ago, uh, are really designed to handle uh, much more devices at the same time. And it can handle four times more capacity than the previous Wi-Fi generations. So now user can have a much steady connection to all of your you know, home devices without getting into um, the network constraints situation. And what are some of the advantages to building the cable modem into into this? So they are really, um, the key advantage here is first, it's a saving, right? Not only you will be saving by these two in one boxes together, right? So if you buy two separated box, normally will run you probably at least $100 higher than only one. 
Uh, so the second benefits really um, for user are less cluttering, right? So people already complain today, their media centers already have a lot of uh, different devices sitting in there. They, need, they don't have enough spaces to you know, add additional units out there. So this two-in-one devices, you, know, you can just using a very you know, a small space and really get into fitting perfectly with your media centers. So I think that these are the two major reasons why uh, the key benefits that you know, can bring up to the user with the two-in-one solutions. Um, but also I wanna sort of re quickly cover, you know, mainly why you wanna buy your cable modems or buy your own retail cable devices, right? I think there's really three key benefits there. Um, and first one is definitely not a saving, right? Depends on your service providers. You know, you will be saving up to $168 per year. You know, so your retail devices will merely pay yourself back within a year or two, right? And second is performance. Um, so you will be getting much better performance compared to uh, the leasing equipments from your service providers, merely because the retail device are often used the latest and greatest technology, you know, like Wi-Fi 6 and uh, DASIS 3.1. And last one is more features and control, right? Uh, for example, um, you will only get guest Wi-Fi feature from the retail devices as your leasing, leasing gateways are using it for their public Wi-Fi. I mean, for the public hotspot features from your providers, right? So we will strongly recommend users to really buy your own cable modems uh, or cable modem router or even two boxes solutions, which will not only save you money, but also provide you a better overall experience. Terrific. Uh, and yeah. a lot of people might be concerned with the difficulty in replacing what they have in there already. I guess that's one of the things you have to overcome is that kind of inertia. Hey, I have a setup. It, it works, even though I'm having some problems now and then. Uh, and they, people worry how tough it might be to, to install. It's for installation and setup is really, really simple and straightforward. Um, so for Orbi system, really users just need to first download the Orbi app uh, from either Google Play Store or Apple App Store. And after that, they only need to connect their mobile phone to their routers networks and the app will walk them through the rest, right? And for the Xfinity subscribers, um, they can even activate it, the built-in cable modem via the Orbi app as well. So it's very simple and straightforward. We, based on our experience, we really, really have any customer complaining about the setup complexities. It's even your mom or dad's or anyone can do it sort of approach, right? So, and once, for, don't forget, once you set up, there's a lot more features on the app you, you, you can use. You know, you can, you know, merely have very intuitive dashboards. User can see all the connected uh, devices and they can, for example, pass the internet on a particular devices as needed. Right? And user can also run um, a quick internet speed test to make sure um, they are getting the speed they are paying for. Um, and also has the uh, features called access anywhere. Uh, so user can even manage their home networks anytime, anywhere, uh, just on their palm. So again, it's a very handy and very useful features for, for uh, apps for everyone. And what about security? I know you, you build in security with this too. Correct. So um, CBR, or uh, we can call this Orbi Cable Wi-Fi 6 systems, also features with our uh, Armor event cybersecurity uh, software. Uh, so with this software, it can ensure that all your connected devices are secure and safe at home. And uh, with the recent launched new on-the-go protection feature, um, user will be getting a free uh, 200 meg VPN traffic daily. So your device can even be protected when you are not connected to the Orbi or at home. So it's really a, a perfect 360 all round uh, solutions for you to protect you from any angles. Now, is that a subscription service? Yes, uh, this is a subscription service. Uh, we give out a one month free trial and after that will be $69.99 for a year. Yeah. Interesting. Tell us about pricing and availability for the, for the new system. Oh, okay. Yeah. So today, this stand, so there, we will be selling uh, OB cable um, Wi Fi 6 for the kits, which is the mesh system and the standalone router. Both are available today. 
And for the systems, the MSRP is at 599. And for the standalone, uh, the cable mesh router, uh, the price will be at 449. And you can buy it today uh, from Netgear eStore or any major retailer's websites. Terrific. And is there a limit to the number of satellites uh, people can use with this? Um, there, well, so from our, um, yeah, so basically, I think we are advertising up to six, I believe, uh, but we have seen user adding a lot more, you know, but normally, you know, from our in-house testing, just two, you know, one router plus a satellite can already cover you 5,000 square feet uh, home without any problem. So really, if you need additional one or two can really cover majority of a user's need. Um, so yeah, that's, uh, but you know, from, from how many satellite, max month satellite you can be added. Um, again, I think our recommendation is up to six, but we have seen users are adding more uh, beyond six without any problems. In addition to this system, I know uh, Netgear certainly has other options for people who want other form factors or have other needs as well. You have some other new routers on the market as well? Right. Uh, so we have uh, one products here, very interesting products that oops, I wanted to um, quickly cover uh, with you guys. So looks like an OB, but this is actually an or uh, can you guys see it? Uh, the Orbi LTE with the SIM card slots. <laughs> so this one is our uh, first fixed wireless uh, mesh router with the integrated LTE modem, uh, LBR20. So um, this product, this Orbi comes with the built-in 4G LTE advanced modem that can support up to 1.2 gigabit per second internet speed on the LTE networks. Uh, along with the signature OB uh, 11 AC tri-band Wi-Fi with the dedicate, uh, dedicated backup connections. So, you know, your, your LTE message can, can deliver up to 100% Wi-Fi performance throughout your home. And you can also easily expand it, the coverage by adding additional cell light. That's interesting. So you're using, yeah. instead of uh, uh, a cable or, an, or another option there, you're using a wireless solution which generally may not be as fast on LTE, depending on, on, the, on the wired service, but certainly an option for a lot of people. Exactly. I think you mentioned a really good point, Fred. These products also support a feature called always on internet. So what it does is really, you can easily combine uh, the LTE router to your existing cable broadband modem. And the Orbi can, will seamlessly switch over to the LTE networks when your primary broadband internet fails to create an, an uninterrupted internet connection environment for, for you and especially now work from home environments. So it's a, it provides the best, you know, like plan B or insurance for you when your major broadband services got interrupted and uh, you can automatically switch the OT networks without getting uh, disconnect. Very interesting. So, and there are, you can add satellites to this as well, did you say? Correct. Yeah, it supports all the Orbi Wi-Fi 5 satellite. Um, so you can also, yeah, again, it's a modular design. Any Orbi system is the modular mesh system. So you can easily add on the satellite to expand the coverage as needed. Yeah. And would, would all of those other satellites uh, be tied in with the LTE network then too in, in, an, in the event so of you, a, as I a mentioned, broadband you have outage? A way to, yeah, so you can choose how you want to do it, right? So there's two options for you. Merely you can use the LTE as your primary internet, which will be more suitable for user living in the rural areas or uh, who don't who don't have the access to the, the wired, uh, you know, fast broadband internet services, which are a lot of them. Based on our research, there are 22% of the household today in the United States does not have uh, the broadband services. The only thing they can do is uh, using the satellite internet or the DSL, which is really slow, right? So for those users, um, they can now use the LTE as their primary internet source uh, and, and merely to um, uh, deliver the speed to meet their, their home, connect their home requirements. Right? And, and the second set, option- Go ahead. Yeah. yeah, and the second option is I mentioned that you can set the LTE as your fail over uh, mode with the always on internet. So even you are not living in rural areas, 
you know, you, but you can still buy this device and connect to your, um, your cable problems or your fiber uh, gateways and, and set LT as the backup services. So anytime when your major internet service failed, you will switch over to LT networks so that we will not getting disconnected. So you can continue work from home tasks or, or kids school e-learnings without any problems. And since you have this, uh, Max, and my assumption is that uh, 5G might not be far away? Uh, it's, we do have a 5G mobile hotspot today, uh, but not this type of phone factors. Um, fortunately, I do have a sample here. Uh, we recently launched the Orbi, I mean, I'm sorry, it's the Netgear Nighthawk uh, 5G mobile hotspot exclusively to AT&T. Um, so this is our first 5G mobile hotspot that supports uh, both uh, sub six and millimeter wave radios. Uh, so it's a very handy, uh, versatile product design so it can meet all different requirements. So I think original hotspot was designed for more like a businessman or business trip uh, use cases. But uh, from our perspective, uh, we're thinking there's more use case for these type of devices. So we're adding additional gigabit ethernet ports to the device and additional uh, expandable um, um, antenna ports. So user can merely um, use this device at home and connect to their own wireless router, like, like these devices. And, you know, and can turn your turning your turn your five G uh, um, connection to um, to uh, turn the M five or this just device is called M five. Uh, turn your M five into uh, a LT modems or five G modems for your home. So it's a very handy feature. And if you're not satisfying with um, the um, signal strength, you can also add additional antennas to uh, increase it in, to increase the signal sensitivities. Terrific. Lots of interesting yeah. solutions for people uh, to uh, to stay connected <laughs> wherever they are. And yeah, and, we and, have and, almost and all everything the time. for you. More, yeah. more important than ever before, I suppose. So for more information, where should people go? Uh, you can merely go on to netgear.com. Um, they will have all the uh, information all, for all these products we just went over. Uh, so you can... Go on the sites that uh, you can have all the price information and where to buy information on our website. Terrific. Again, it's netgear.com. Max Wu, thank you for taking the time with us. No problem. Thank you, Fred. Thanks, everyone, for having me here today. <laughs>